Hello, my darlings. Welcome back with Mel B and this journey to be ageless. I want to share with you a new morning routine and nighttime routine. I hope you'll join me on it. We're going to be doing cupping with some new serums in the morning. We're going to be doing gua sha in the evening. I think you'll love it. And also, I'm going to take in a little shopping trip today. So let's get started. So I got out of the shower. Is I love this. I think they're so cute. And I'm going to get the white hair protected from the oils. I'm going to be doing the serums that could miscolor my hair. First step, Nivea CoQ10 Power Serum. And this I'm going to put on my, my neck as we're doing our face. This hardly has, this doesn't really have any fragrance at all, so it's very clean and not fragrance. I know some of you don't like fragrance. Just gonna go up the neck. Remember, it's always good to go up. We're already fighting gravity. Our face is already wanting to slide down. I'm going to put on the vitamin C. Vitamin C is an antioxidant to my forehead. And it's five years ago when I did that uh, microdermabrasion. And of course, since then, I feel like I've seen some toughness in the skin that's happened around my chin that's happening here it's an orange pill looking effect so i'd like to try to combat that orange pill at that put on the ginger that's going to help boost and give energy to the skin and give some slippage came together in a little satin pouch two two of this and two of this size the small one is when you're wanting to get up underneath areas under your eye this also I like because you can put it right here on the middle of your middle of your forehead and just like that you just squeeze a little bit to get to get the suction you can suction it hard you can leave it on there a while but you don't want to leave it too long it will help with bringing a lot more blood to the surface but I don't want to maybe in certain areas like between here maybe into to my chin but nowhere that you want to create bruising or that hickey look put it right here between my eyes and then i'm gonna slip it over my brow bone and back towards my ear squeeze it get some suction and pull it across like so and it's you can actually see already how my skin turns red and guess what that is that's blood and blood is what comes up. I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna go over these lines here and go over this. But here's where the lymphatics are, above your eye. And so that's where we are pulling it. If you keep pulling it down your neck, you pull down like that. You can even go your chest and push the toxins, the lymph glands out that way. You wanna go over your eyes here and on top of the jawbone and push down and under the chin and push down and under the chin and push down. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna do this five times. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do the other side. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna go underneath one, and I'll push back towards my ear and pull it down. Suction, pull it back towards my ear and pull it down. That's two, let's do it three, four, five. Those are the other side. One, one, two, Three, we could suction three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one. Two, three, four, five. On top, I'm gonna start at my jaw, I mean my chin. One, two, 
one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then lastly, I'm going to go under. One, two, three. four, five, one, two, three, four, five. That's it. Already that feels refreshing. You can use the smaller one if you have, if you want to go underneath here to create some blood flow and stimulation. Let's go under the eye. This can help pulling the toxins out from under your eye. And if there, you have puffiness, the other one a few times. There, it feels good, it feels refreshed. Some of the things I want to accomplish is to puffing my skin, getting toxins out of my skin, improving the pore quality, and just energizing, getting more blood flow. Because when you get that blood flow into your skin, it's going to help produce those collagens. It's going to help produce a more youthful appearance. I'm going to try it every morning and night for about four weeks. Of course, I know there might be. Sometimes I might miss a, miss a day, and that's okay. Don't beat yourself up when some things happen in life and you can't do it every day. Just get back on track, kind of jump on that horse, or get back into the flow of it again when it all feels good. So it's not about living life feeling guilty or feeling like I'm not doing good enough. Or Just do what you can. Do the best for yourself that you can. That's what it's about. It's not about being perfect it's not about perfection it's those things don't define who we are perfection who we are is from on the inside and i always believe that the beauty within you is what's going to shine forth the most that's what people will fall in love with that's what people will like about it is what's that smile that you're flashing to everyone where's that energy in your eyes that love that forgiveness that 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 acceptance of others that's what people are looking for. So that's what I hope and that I come across with you with. I hope that's what I can encourage you to do. So often the perfection that we want in life keeps us from doing the simple things, making a new friend, throwing a smile to a stranger to make their day better, saying something nice in a text to somebody or here on a comment to encourage others. So I would just love to hope to encourage you to focus on those things and not being in the perfection, to love the skin you're in. I know you've heard that, to love who you see in the mirror because you're the only you that there is. You're unique, you're beautiful, you are who you are, and love that and embrace that. A long life journey, we can try different things, we can do different things, but if, you, if that's not something that you can do all the time, maybe financially, maybe just life throws you curveballs and bumps in the road and that's okay just take care of yourself at that time nourish yourself and then when you can do some of these things it might make you feel better it might relieve the stress it might relieve the tension in your life and that's where we want to go we want to be on a journey of of joy of happiness of peace and hopefully some of these things and encouraging you in this way will bring those to you as well. Most all of these items you can get on Amazon. The Catrice has incredible price value, quality products, but we're gonna test it to see how the retinol does. And at a price point of $6.99 versus $32.99, I just have to try that and share it with you because if it will work for me, I hope it will work for you. Already, I'm a little bit impressed. So let's see how this wears during the day. Do I, if I have any breakouts, if I have any irritations, I want to share the good, the bad, and we'll see how this goes. So far, I like the rosiness and the glow it's brought to my face. I don't feel any irritation. 
I don't feel any reaction at this time. So we're going to wear it through the day. I'm going to go to, I'm going to the Centrum. We're going to stop and then get a cup of coffee, take some pictures. I'll share them with you. Enjoy your day. I'll see you back this evening. What a busy day. I went to the Centrum with my husband and we shopped a bit at some of my favorite stores. And I went into Douglas, which is one of the shops that is very much like a Sephora and an Ulta. And I was there and got a few in my X products that I wanted to test out with you. And they also gave me several products to test, to share with you. So we'll be doing that in an upcoming video. Thank you very much, Douglas, for uh, giving me some wonderful samples to be able to share uh, with my subscribers. So be sure and subscribe and hit the bell uh, so that you'll get a notification when I do those products. What we're gonna be doing tonight is for the nighttime routine is I'm gonna be putting on my pairing sleep oil so I'm going to be putting on the Pure Retinol, it's 0.2% it's from Catrice. And then I'm also going to be using a Catrice Youth Boost Serum, which is vegan collagen. So we're going to put those on for the evening and we're going to do our Gua Sha. So I have the Rose Quartz and I have here in the Jade. And you can tell they're real because they're cold. So if you get something that isn't cold to the skin, it's not real jade and it's not real rose quartz. So be sure and get the real deal. Again, got these off of Amazon. First thing I wanna do is to put some of the retinol in. Really kinda of like that to be the first layer, really a fragrance. And it's a very, very, very light oil. It's not something that's gonna give me a lot of slip with the Gua Sha. Slip is what I mean by slip, is that it slides easily and slips along the skin and doesn't tug and pull a lot. So I'm gonna put the retinol on first. So I'm just gonna put some of that. My hands are clean. I washed them when I washed my face before I came in here. Put some of this on my forehead. And retinol, retinol is really good for repairing the skin, reducing pores and imperfections. So we're gonna start using the retinol. Retinol, the 0.2%. You can get something much stronger from a doctor in a prescription, but this is just over the counter. My neck has is really gotten loose, and I'm gonna go ahead and put some here. That is a problem area for me. But with some of the things I've been doing and my other videos of some oils that I found from Nivea, I found that they are working quite well. It's just about continuing to use them. The second thing that I wanna put on is a youth Youth Boosting Serum that is 3% vegan, co vegan collagen. And it's okay to use your fingers and your hand for makeup. Kind of old school that way. You know, we didn't have all the brushes and the beauty blenders and things like that when I was a younger woman. And so we used our fingers and our hands. And I actually think it's more sanitary because I can wash my hands and they're clean when I go to this process, anytime I'm touching my face. And I think that's super important. Brushes and blenders, I have to really be, and you, and you should to really up, I'm making sure you're cleaning them every time you use them so that they don't collect bacteria. They got bacteria in it and you had an open sore, you wouldn't want that to happen. So the whole idea that we want to do with this is to stimulate and encourage our blood flow into our face and into our muscles and have more stress-free results from the massage and the relaxing to see after a month, do I see results? So the first thing we're going to do is make sure you always are going to start out flat, as flat to the skin as you can get, and then sliding it along. And so what I'm going to start with, there are ways that you can do it where you go up the back of the neck, up the back of the neck, spine, and wiggle. So you can use this little 
crevice here and those two knot knobs on the top of the heart. So slide it up and wiggle, up and wiggle. So we're going to slide it up and wiggle, up and wiggle. Side of the neck, here we go. Up and under the jawline and back of the ear right there, wiggle. Go up and wiggle, up and wiggle, and up and wiggle, and up and wiggle. Also, any of the tension that you've been having all day from clenching and stress and that tighten up these muscles. And up and wiggle, up, wiggle, up and wiggle, up and wiggle. And I'm gonna go around my, my forehead. I'm gonna go up on my forehead. I'm gonna go around my eyes. That's where the lymph glands are. I'm gonna go around my eyes, back to the hairline and wiggle. I'm gonna go under my eyes, up and wiggle, and up and wiggle. Then we're gonna go over the cheekbones and wiggle, under the cheekbones, back and massage, wiggle. And then we're gonna do our jawline and wiggle. And then we're gonna go underneath our jawline, back to the back of the ear and wiggle. And then we're gonna go up the neck, under the jawline here and up and up. I'll finish off with going over and smoothing it out, over smoothing out, so that it's draining that lymph glands and out. There's a pressure point here. You can come in right under the eyes and wiggle. I'm gonna push it, slip it up and wiggle, up and wiggle. And you can see how here I'm gonna kinda of go flat to push it up and wiggle. Flat and up and wiggle. Above the above the eyebrow eyebrow bone, up and wiggle. And wiggle. Up and wiggle. And it's important too to remember to breathe when you're doing this. I'm talking and trying to explain it. So I'm not gonna talk for a few minutes while I'm doing this. I'm gonna relax. We'll have some music play while I do it because I just wanna breathe in and breathe out and relax. I'm breathing in through my nose and out through my mouth. here and you can see how that fits just a nice underneath my cheek to encourage muscle memory and to move, remove puffiness this feels so relaxing and now I'm going to go see how this just fits right there on your jawline other side, the labial fold here, now we're going to do the jaw lines. Go back here and wiggle.
we're going to go up the neck and under the chin right here. Up the neck. We'll go. I'm going to turn this now onto this the curve here to go up my neck so it fits the contour right underneath the jaw. Wiggle. 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 This side of the neck. Wiggle. 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 Now I'm going to finish off by just going over the lymphatic pathways and I think that sometimes you're going to find that when you do this with the massage around your eyes, if you feel like there's a soreness when you're doing a little bit of pressure, that's actually a good sign because you're probably not doing it because you're doing it so hard, but it's because the lymph glands are full of toxins and it just is, is can be painful when you push against it. So the more that you do this, you'll find that you don't have any, not pain, but sensitivity, or you just feel a bit of pressure that you know that that's like, why is that like that? Is the muscle tense? Is, is you know, am I doing it too hard? You'll know if you're doing it too hard, but I don't, but because you can feel that immediately, this just slips and slides, but you'll feel it when you do the lymph gland pathways. You can feel, and what that is, is that there can be toxins in these lymphs. And under the eye for the lymphs, just push that out. We're going to pulling, we want to drain. So we're going up, out, down, up under here, and down, up along the jawline, and then it, the drainage to come on down and out, down and out, down and out, down and out. Okay, I'm going to do this side. Push along those lymph pathway above the eye, under the eye. Be sure and pull it down so it's draining down. Under here. The jawline and then out and down, out and down, out and down. Okay, so that's our gua sha for this evening. We're gonna be doing this every night. And already, again, from like my morning, I feel um, an energy into my skin from the blood flow. I think I can see a, a more of a rosiness where that blood comes to the surface to give a more glow to the skin. And definitely we're going to see how this sets. The next thing I want to do is finish this off with what they call slugging. And the idea is to put a petroleum jelly all over the face. This is really, and sleep in this. So this is going to trap in. You may not want to do this and leave this part off if you are broken out with acne. So we're just going to then cover every, our face with the petroleum jelly. Be sure and drink a lot of water as we're detoxing. It's just as important as everything else we do for our health and for our face, for a healthy, more vibrant and youthful look. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna put my hair up in. I have a satin one of these as well. My hair will stay up in there and it's soft to sleep on. And then we'll get up in the morning and see how it all looks and how our skin fared during the evening. How was it sleeping with this petroleum on our face? And I'll share all of that with you. So join me if you'd like to and try it yourself. If you do that, put some comments in. Be sure and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Hit the notifications so that you can get more of my videos that will be showing you this journey to be ageless. Thanks again. Love you, my darlings. Bye.